I'm here with the great Andre Arlovsky here at American Top Team. Uh, tell me, uh, coming up right here in your own backyard, getting excited for this upcoming fight. No, I'm very excited. It's uh, actually, it's, I think it's going to be my second time when I fought. I'm going to fight in uh, in uh, in uh, Florida the first time. It was ten plus years ago. So, I'm very excited. It, it's going to be great too, because you know that all your colleagues. I mean, you got a lot of friends here within the team. Are probably going to be there in support. Well, definitely, some people going to come to support me. Not only from the gyms. But some people coming to support me from Russia, from Chicago. So, it's going to be a lot of people. What, what's kind of been your, your mindset coming into this fight? I mean, compared to some of the other fights, because it's been a little bit rocky of late. You, you had the overturned contest recently, too. Um, no, it's going to be just uh, like another fight, but for this fight, we definitely train a lot harder. You know, we did uh, homework for the last three fights and uh, have great people. Uh, my coaches, uh, Mike Brown, Steve Mocha, Paulina Hernandez, so great sparring partners here, great gym, so I'm, I'm, I'm in the good hands, so ready to go. It, is it one of those where you find yourself sharpening your tools or is it finding something new? I mean, really, it, the training never stops, so. But training, training never stops, plus uh, I was lucky this uh, camp, I got a really good sparring partner, young, guy from uh, Croatia, he's like super, super talented, like quick, and uh, it was a great, great, great uh, camp for me, no doubt. But, but does it become one of those where it's like, okay, I've already done this for so many years? No, you know what's the difference between, uh, I think, uh, me and other fighters? Because I still have fire in my eyes, you know, I just, I love what I'm doing. It's my passion, you know, and uh, plus uh, uh, my wife let me do what, uh, what's, what I love to do, what she knows. It's very important for me, she support me 100% and just like, like I said, I'm a lucky guy. Could you even see yourself doing anything else? I mean, you've been doing this long enough. Uh, you know, is, what, there, uh, is there life outside of this for the people? Probably two, 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 two generations of fighters already like started uh, their career and, uh, and uh, finished, but yeah. Uh, so in, Sept in September this year it's gonna be um, it's gonna be 19 years like I'm fighting in the United States. So it's fucked. That's, that's a lot. I probably gonna get uh, asked in a way to pay, pay me a pension or something. You know? <laughs> So, so is this where this is this is home now? I mean, you've been here long enough. This is is this more home or is it just an extension of home from where you grew up? No, definitely I consider like United States is my home, and uh, <clears throat> I lived 13 years in Chicago. I moved here in 2013. Yeah, and uh, yeah, definitely it's ATT is my family, my home right now, and uh, people nice here. And uh, like I said, I'm like a guy. Could, could you ever see yourself? I, I know you're a big dog aficionado. Could you ever see yourself maybe doing something with that, like the Pitbull Foundation? Maybe one day. But now I'm focused only on my fighting, and uh, especially after a few losses. My opinion, I was robbed, but listen, uh, reality is in, in fact I lost uh, the three fights last one. was not contest, and. Uh, just you know, just I need to like uh, build my MMA career all, all, all over again. That's why uh, my mind focus on my fighting, on my preparation, on my camp, on my uh, workouts. So just like I'm hundred percent in, in my game. What, what's your take on all that's going on with uh, the suspensions, finding out people with the steroids, everything else? I, I don't mean, know. It's, it's you know, what? I, I'm already like uh, 26 time tested by USAD, and I proud that. Uh, not many many fighters like me tested like uh, so many times. Uh, Dustin Poirier he tested like 25 times, maybe 26 already. So uh, yeah. Does, does it kind of? I mean, I, to me as a fan too, does it kind of piss you off when you start hearing all this stuff like these guys? Maybe the the taintiness, like mm. they got their championship and then they got suspended and then they're right back in the main. Oh, uh, listen, I'm not a guy to judge someone, you know, yeah. but. Uh, if I'm gonna use uh, something right now, taking some right now, is I'm gonna look stupid because it, uh, first of all I'm 40, and uh, it's, I think it's kind of too late to, to, to cheat uh, and uh, take some like stuff. It's, I mean, not, not, and nobody can guarantee it's gonna help you or not. So just like I believe in hard work and. Uh, 
um, my uh, Every time my my my, uh, my, my jiu jitsu coach from uh, first coach from Chicago, Dino Castellas, told me disciplines. Remembering what you want. Fuck every morning when I wake up in camp, I remember what I want. What I want. Why I fucking start uh, everything like every day, like all, over and over. Like after like losses, after like victories, I'm like I'm I'm the probably one of the first guys who comes to the gym and probably the last one, uh, one of the last one who who live in the gym. So. I never trained at age 40 and I so much. I didn't train like when I was 25, like I'm training right now. So I spend a lot of time at the gym. So, so, so it really is age is just a number. Oh, it definitely is just a number. For me, I just I don't feel like wow. I like listen. I'm I'm, I'm quick and faster than, than some uh, young guys. So you're de definitely probably setting the example here in the gym when they got like some 20 something year old struggling and then they look at you and they're like shit. I got to get back to work. Listen, just, you know, just, uh, I make priorities in my life, first of all, now I'm responsible father, husband, I have two kids, you know, and I can't do what I did, like, when I was 25, so, like I said, I'm focused right now on my preparation, on my fighting game, and uh, on my fights, and that's it. Is that why Fun is gonna be after the fight. Is, it, is that why you think you're still so dangerous right now, you just got that, I, I mean, that structure in place? Listen, I just know that, uh... You know, it might sound funny or kind of stupid, but I became a slave of my coaches during the camp, you know, like, for example, if 10 years ago when I used to train in Chicago, I pick the time and I pick the technique what I want to practice on. Now I have to listen to my coaches and uh, a good example, Rina Hernandez, I came uh, first time work out with him and he told me like throw like one, two, finish left hook. I said, listen, I never throw left hook. Just, I just, I just. Let's do like what I like to do. I said, no, 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 guy. And uh, we just like you know, now I try to throw, throw in left hook. So just, you know, I just better keep my mouth shut and, and do what uh, coaches uh, think is right for me. So it's uh, simple. Anything out there you, you want to say to to the fans? Uh -uh. Well, thank you all my fans who who. who who was with me, who still with me, like through all my victories and losses, so, you know, I'm gonna just lift 100% everything inside the Octagon next week and uh, and uh, and uh, just like thank you for your support and uh, Arlovsky fans, you're the best in the whole world awesome. for, for many years, so yeah, I'm awesome. a lucky guy too, I have a lot of, uh, not a lot, like not like huge, but I have like pretty Pretty big uh, fan base, yeah. Awesome. Well, hey, I appreciate your time. No Thanks problem. Thank you.